Hi, welcome to this City Love video about Delft. It's the city of the Delft University of Technology. Every two years, students participate in the World Solar Challenge. It's the city of that special blue kind of pottery, Delft Blau. It's also the city where famous citizens were born, like Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, discoverer of the microscope, and above all, the painter Johannes Vermeer from the same century. So let's discover Delft, the city of Vermeer. Delft is located south of The Hague and north of Rotterdam. The city centre is modest in size, but rich in monuments. The name of the city comes from an old Dutch verb, delven, digging digging canals in polders and wetlands. Before there was even a village, this specific canal was dug, the Old Delft, the oldest canal in what became the city of Delft. Many people visiting downtown Delft arrive by train at the modern station building. From there it's barely a 10 minute walk to the Zuiderkolk. Water, sailing boats, buildings on the other side of the water. On this spot exactly Vermeer painted his famous view of Delft. At the southernmost point of the Oude Delft, there was in Vermeer's days still a weapon arsenal on this spot. Walking from here toward the market square, we see cozy vistas with canals and small bridges. Look at this old tower, built in the Middle Ages. That stain has been used for centuries as a prison. The city hall, built at the beginning of the 7th century. The city hall has been modified several times. The new Kerk, the new church at the market square is visited by many tourists every year because of its Gothic architecture and because of the tomb of Willem van Oranje. Below it, the royal crypt. This massive stone covers the entrance to the crypt, where 46 members of the Dutch royal family are buried. In this church, Johannes Vermeer was baptized Protestant in 1632. Vermeer was born in this house, just north of the market square. He lived his whole life in this city. For a long time, he lived in this house, to the right of the church building. Here he painted many of his masterpieces. The Allegory of Fate, the music lesson, the girl with the earring, no not that one, the real one, yes thank you, the geographer, and the milkmaid, and many more. Nowadays his paintings are exposed in Berlin, Dresden, Dublin, Edinburgh, Frankfurt, The Hague, London, New York, Vienna, Washington. But not in Delft, the city of Vermeer. In 2023, you can visit the largest Vermeer exhibition 
ever in het Rijksmuseum Amsterdam. Back to Delft. Recently, a researcher has found that Vermeer painted his masterpiece The Little Street exactly on this spot. We walk on through the city center, the Doelenplein, a quiet little park in the middle of Delft, an even quieter courtyard. And then the Paardenmarkt, the horse market. On the morning of October 12, 1654, the gunpowder magazine on this spot exploded. A part of the city was destroyed. At that time, Johannes Vermeer was 22 years old. Just married, the Vermeer family suffered no damage. On this side you find now a former artillery magazine and artillery barracks. The old church is the oldest church in town and dates from 1246. The leaning tower is striking. In this church, Johannes Vermeer was buried in 1675. The Prinsenhof. Here, Prince Willem van Oranje lived when he was in Delft. His former monastery was the place where the prince was murdered July 10, 1584. No doubt, Johannes Vermeer had heard about this murder. We walk out of the city center to the east. There we find Delft's only remaining city gate. In Vermeer's time, there were eight city gates. The Oostpoort is the only gate remaining. A beautiful spot, even on a cloudy and rainy day. Overall, Vermeer rarely went out of the city. Centuries have passed since the death of Johannes Vermeer on December 15, 1675. But life goes on, century after century, even in this small corner of one of the canals in Delft, the city of Vermeer. <laughs>